Hey, good evening and welcome to the stream episode four. Uh, we got the track IR five, as you can see on my hat, there's uh reflectors on it. I don't know. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. There is, it's two right here and one at the top. I'll show you why in just a second. Um, So, as you can see, when I move my head, right, left, uh, so like if I turn, it'll look at Vader. If I, if I get close, it'll look over the hood. I can look out the window. Yeah. Um,. So yeah, that's it. That's it's just more immersive. So wherever I move my head, I look, the camera moves for me. So I'm not I'm not touching anything. It's just following my head movement. It's called track IR. I have number the fifth version. So yeah, that's uh so that we can be more immersive here on the stream. And uh we'll see how it reacts to cigarette smoke. It might flip out. And we're still waiting on the race wheel and that should be here you know as i always say sunday 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 uh yeah so um i was wrong about the winter event ending tomorrow like i read on the steam form it actually ends on the 14th so we have time to do it if we want to and it kind of sounds like fun to me uh I think we're on a job right now. I don't know what job it is, but, uh, holy fucking what? What is this garbage? Oh, hell no. I don't know why it was doing that. The chocolate factory all right let's take that one sure my trailer's ready proceed to the loading area it towards the green flag on the map
Okay. Um. Yeah, I just seen it flip out from the cigarette. You see the camera do that? So when I lit the cherry, it it just like jumped. So uh, I guess we know that uh, IR is sensitive to that. Um, let's look at this real quick. Where? Okay. Not too far. And you can see if you were on last episode, it took away all my items. I don't know why. It erased everything I put on the truck. Um, like my steering wheel's different and all that. So, yeah. Not very happy about that, but it gave me back the money at least. So we can rebuy it later. It's just disappointing when stuff like that happens, I guess. Which means I still need to upgrade the engine. If we can actually, if there's a repair place close, what the hell? My, my engine, everything turned off. Um, I want to set a point there, but you're not going to allow me to click it, huh? Huh. Weird. Oh, it only lets you do it here. I see. <clears throat> so we're going to stop in there and uh, grab a better engine and uh add those parts back that it took from me the cigarette so it quits doing that I'll just uh I guess vape instead and I'll grab my controller here and get this going
Wait a minute, what? Why is that fenced off, bro? Okay. Do repairs first. Let's just replace all. So I wanted the one with the guns on it, but I think you have to be a higher level for that. Like, what is this? They're literally just white? Why? Why would anybody want that? That's the one we had before. Let's go ahead and get that. And then, uh, get Vader's smokes and we had given him a coffee mug. His Vader coffee mug. Well, that one's kind of cool too, though. No, that's the one we want. What is that? And we had a pizza on the floor. Because Vader got hungry. Okay. So hopefully it doesn't delete that again. That was really weird. <laughs> And then we upgraded the, the engine. How did we do that? That was. Yeah, this was all our money. We spent a lot of money, but we're going to do it. And I think we're pretty much at stop there. We can upgrade later. The, oh, we can do paint job. Or we could do uh, the chassis. Probably more important.
Actually, you know what? Let's not. Let's do a paint job. A 13 speed. Hmm. I don't know. Let's let's do paint job first. <laughs> I really like this one. Last time we went with this one, which I like the wood panel and stuff on it, but, uh, I don't know, I kind of like that one a little better and it's cheaper. Yeah, now we're getting to little ludicrous prices. I mean, it's even bad enough. Um, I mean, it's going to take a lot of my money. I'm going to go with the blue one, I think. 24K. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one, guys. Over that one. I just think it looks... It looks... Hmm... Man, but I do like that. It's more classy, kind of. Nah, we're going to go with that one. I, I changed my mind on it. Yeah, let's go blue. Big blue. All right. All right, let's get the hell out of here. We spent enough money. Looks like we're doing okay on gas for now. So right now it's not really, uh, I haven't messed with the settings really that much. 
so uh, I'm sure I'll get it down to where it's like really nice it's still pretty cool right now the way it is it's not I don't think it's too jarring and uh, it definitely improves the immersion <clears throat> I am it's just like I remember it's like VR but without the headset pretty much um, kind of in between VR and uh, regular you know makes it a lot nicer that's for sure something else when we were upgrading but oh well <clears throat> we'll do it later That one point to desired portal. Okay, what's the closest? Well, that's not too bad. Lights on? No. Alright. Why do we stop? Oh, let's look at the cab. Let's see what the cab looks like. Christmassy cab. Oh, it doesn't. Uh... Well, this looks like just a bunch of uh, dessert stuff. So this would be also be good for like a flight sim. Uh, I have Microsoft flight sim as well. So I'll probably try it out on that at some point.
Oh, Vader's belt glows. Stick your head out the window. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What is that? Oh, it's a casino. I thought it might have been a strip joint. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see it off in the distance there. Truckers always looking for strip joints, right? I'm just kidding. <clears throat> I'm just here for the lot lizards. Tesla, huh? Okay, cut the engine. And let's do this Christmas thing. <clears throat> okay. Be able to drive a little bit better in the snow like well we should have more power uh last episode we got stuck quite a few times trying to go up the hill because we didn't have the power um this has a lot more horse but i should have upgraded other things but this is good enough for now Cause if I can toss a sleeper cab on this truck, I might just roll with this truck all the way for a long time. 
I'm sliding. It was sliding and I could not turn. Holy fucking shit. Wow. How much damage did we take on that? Doesn't say. Okay. I didn't see how much damage we were taking. All I was trying to do was turn. That's why you heard the horn. We're gonna have to take this super slow. I'm not even moving and it's... I mean, I'm not giving any gas at all. Wow. That was insane. Uh, I do want to go look at uh, the damage that was just done. But... What's that? F3? So I don't know how much damage we've done. Hmm. Okay. Just got to be a little bit uh, careful. fact I'm gonna pop into uh, into this mode so that I can see a little bit better yeah it's the steering is terrible on the snow like sometimes it just does not turn at all which makes sense because that's how it would be like you get a patch of black ice, you're done for, man. It just... Oh, look at that, dude. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Just look at that. There's, like, people standing outside. Look at the detail. They d look at World of Trucks or who did this? SCS? I don't know who did this. But I think it was World of Trucks. They worked, they said they worked on it a long time. According to the post that you guys missed, uh, that got cut out of the, um, out of the video, unless you were here for it, uh, at the very beginning. Uh, cause we had a, a few crashes when we started. Uh, I would probably say they were intentional crashes cause I was talking and the mic was off and Nobody told me, so I got pissed off and I stopped the stream. And so, uh, yeah, and I had a whole nice intro too, by the way, where I was went over the entire winter event. I even had it being read by some sexy female AI voice. Uh, that's all gone. But it's all right. You you didn't miss much. Yeah, I like this view because you can really see a lot more. Let's hop back down into the cab. And take a closer look, huh? Oh, there's a video camera. I don't think we've done this one yet. I think that's a new camera here. Well, we got to do it. Enter button. The southern station is out of said.
Yeah, pretty cool stuff. So we're still celebrating Christmas, even though we should have done this a long time ago. I just didn't, I didn't even think about this game actually during Christmas. Uh, we were so involved in the cyberpunk and I beat cyberpunk and I haven't gone back to cyberpunk to finish off the side quests. I don't know when we're going to do that guys, but it'll eventually, I promise you, we will go back to it. I'm just really into this whole, uh, American Truck Simulator. I'm really having a good time with it. You know, and you're you're welcome to join me if you want. Um, you know, just send me a, a message on Twitch and I will respond. But I do not respond to any messages on Twitch while I'm streaming. I don't even see them. So sending me messages while I'm streaming is not going to... I, I'm not going to see it. So... I get a lot of private messages asking me if I want uh, some viewer bots. Uh, the answer to that would be no. Uh, I want to go legit. Sorry, uh, the Buster Burble uh, bubble, but Burble? What the hell is that? Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not a cheater. Um, I'd rather have no viewers than fake viewers. So uh, yeah, don't send me any of that crap. I'm sick of seeing that, please. And as far as art goes, art design, not interested. Uh, maybe in February, at the end of February, maybe. Um, so yeah, I, I don't care if you can charge me in February or whatever. I, I, I even have people going, oh, we won't charge you till February, then we'll do the art for you now. No, you won't. I mean, honestly, you don't need to send me any kind of, I, I don't, I don't need any artists. I can find them. Trust me. So spamming me with that on private messages. Please stop doing that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, obviously you, if you're watching on YouTube, you, you, you know, you got nothing to do with that. So you guys is cool. Please follow the key to the handle job delivery. Okay. Yeah, we'll do easy. Because unless I have a wheel, we'll be doing easy until I get a wheel and then we'll be doing the hard ones, which should be, as I've said a million times on Sunday, we will have the wheel and it will be glorious because I am not a fan of, the, I was using the keyboard for the first three episodes and then I, now I'm using keyboard and the control, uh, Xbox controller. And yeah, so uh, I want to continue doing these events. So, uh, I know they don't pay much, but We can go to Washington. That's still a Washington run. Wait, would I have to drive all the way out to Washington though to do that? No. 
No, it would pop me out here. I see. Okay. Now let's do that one. I don't think we've done anything in Washington. Uh, so that would be kind of fun. What do you think, Vader? Would that be fun? Yeah. He's excited. I could tell. I can totally tell. He moved. You see him? He blinked. Uh, no, I'm just maybe going crazy. Just crazy. Okay, so we need to go Let's find the closest portal out of here I wonder if I should go to all the portals <clears throat> I read something about that But is it worth going all the way over here? I don't know I don't think so. I think we're just going to go to the closest one. Yeah. All right. I like this view for so we can see a little bit better like the lights and stuff um so yeah i probably won't if you you know look at that oh man looks tasty all that junk food now i like how the track ir doesn't work when i'm outside the cab like this and i'm just using the regular camera it's actually kind of nice that way i don't know if it's made like that to be like that or what but you could probably change it if you wanted to probably I guess we go into the cab. I bet it took a while for them to put all this together. <clears throat> okay, now we're pushing. Now my engine is really, really upgraded. And we're having a problem with getting... What is going on?
Uh, I have 455 horsepower. What is the problem? I guess the it's trying to be realistic, I guess, but I don't want it to be that realistic. Holy sh... How am I supposed to go if it's... I can't get out and put chains on, dude. Let me up the freaking hill, bro. Uh, it's not like I can get out and do anything about it. Like, let me up the hill. It's, it's a game, dude. Let me up the fucking hill. Okay, it's not gonna let me up the hill. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what to do, guys. Um. I mean, going that way is not going to help either. There's not like a hill that I can... Whoa, stop! Are we stuck now? We might be stuck. This is fucking stupid. Okay, well, I was having a good time until this happened. I don't know if it's glitched, maybe?
Let's see if it's glitched. Let's load it now. No, it's still glitched. All right, maybe it's not. Maybe you're supposed to do this, but I don't think so. We're not even moving. How do how do what do I do? What do I do, guys? I don't know what the fuck to do. All right, we're just gonna reverse it. Fuck this. Oh. Fucking, fucking piece of shit. Goddamn motherfucker. Dude, what? <laughs> It is so, it's just so fucking aggravating, bro. Did it leave me wrecked? Fucking piece of shit. I don't even want to know how much that cost me. Uh, I think we're done. Actually, we're not going to do this Christmas event anymore. I'm just going to do regular runs, guys. Um, yeah. I'm not going to do this again. Because it'll just upset me. It's, it's cool. It's a really cool thing, though. Um, as long as you don't get fucking stuck all the time. Which happens to me quite a bit, apparently. Uh, press the following key to travel through the portal. Uh, yeah, I want to leave. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that anymore. Especially since I just upgraded the fucking engine, you know? Like, that's pretty fucking stupid, you know? Well, that's happened twice now. It was, uh, last episode, same crap. So... It's, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm all good. I'm good with it. Uh, it'd be even better if this map wasn't glitching on me. 
That might be too much to ask. Am I right? Because when it rains, it fucking pours. You know, I was going to do some upgrades, but nah. Let's just try to level. I think that's the main thing that we're going to do. <clears throat> I tried, guys. I tried to... I mean, I knew that it was going to do it, but I, I thought with the engine, uh, I would be able to go up a little bit of a slope, you know? I thought that would be available, but no. Nah. And there was no option to put on chains, you know, like in real life. If you want to be, you know, if we're going to try to be realistic like that, Yeah, nah. It's all good. So let's go ahead and reset the navigation and do a freight market. Oh, that's way over there. How am I supposed to get over there? When I'm in Texas. Is it going to teleport me there? It's not going to teleport me there, is it? Can I can I t teleport there somehow? See, I don't know if there's a way to teleport. Uh, I'm out of Reading. I have a shop in Reading. How do I, how do I teleport there? I'm not driving all the way from Texas, bro. I'm stranded in Texas now because of this event that I did. Oh, that's a lot of money. 36 grand. We'll just drive somebody else's truck, I guess. But then how do I get... No. No, there must be a way to teleport. There must be a way. I'll lose three grand, four grand.
so that should make up for the amount that these guys that all they do is sleep. Oh, oh. How much has he made me total? On duty, stop to rest. <laughs> Average profit, two grand a day. Okay, we need to hire more. Um, how do I? A hundred K. Plus I need another hundred K for the truck. And I'm trying, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So they're paying, willing to pay me $77 a mile. If I'm willing to drive into Oregon. Oh, that's way too far. I wish, I wish the cargo was here, but I guess in reality, in real life, you do have to drive to the location. It's just kind of like, that's a distance. So there's one for $77. And then if you go here to uh, World of Trucks. Yeah, this is 58. Yeah, it's not worth it. And then you got to go through the Christmas crap. That way you get stuck and it's, yeah. Oh, we might try it again later when I'm, I don't know, maybe if I get like a beefier truck or something, but like, I don't know how this couldn't, why it got stuck. I don't understand that. But whatever. Uh, so. We'll do that one. Okay, let's go pick up the cargo. What the fuck is going on? What did you stop so that I would hit you on purpose or what buddy? Don't you dare Where's my lights, bro? Jesus. Okay.
We got a little bit of a drive here to pick this cargo up. We weren't getting many levels anyway, and if it's just for like some cosmetic Christmas tree or whatever, you know. Just not worth the anguish. Plus, I don't know why I get so pissed off when I get stuck. I mean, I don't know. I just don't understand why the hell I'm getting stuck. I think that's the main thing. I'm going to be breaking all kinds of laws on the way through here. Just so you know. I'm not even going to care about red lights. I have all the pines turned off right now. It's arcade mode all the way. Like as far as sleeping and pines go, at least it's arcade. Um, I'm not going to change that until uh, my wheel arrives. And then we'll uh, switch back. But right now, I, I need to earn money. And I don't want to waste time. Uh, I don't want to waste time. So. With stupid laws. Well, not stupid laws, obviously, but... You know what I'm saying? Like running a red stop sign or turning right on red when you're allowed to and then getting fined for it. Th th those kind of things. I'm not in the mood for that. So. I don't want to hear anything like, oh, you know, you know. Yeah, you play your way, I'll play mine. And then we'll, we'll be good. <laughs> But right now, that's the way I'm playing. And I will change it when we go full immersion when I get my race wheel on Sunday. Then we can laugh about the $1,000 fines. And stuff. And I'm forced to follow the law. <clears throat> but so far, anyway, uh, besides that, um, and hitting cars, um, um, uh, I like the, I like it. The IR5 is really, uh, improves the game, I think, a lot. You know, I, I think I have the speed limiter on. Let's see how fast we can really bring this. Let's push this truck. Yeah, I had the limiter on the 65. Let's push this baby and see how fast she can go.
Why does it do the horn thing? I'm not even pressing the horn. <laughs> okay. Well, I am uh, acting a little nuts. Wait a minute, it's gonna be 332 miles. Get the fuck out of here with that. No way. No way. No fucking way, bro. No fucking way. To pick up cargo? Fuck it, let's just do a quick job. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's not my cab. I don't care. It's not it's not worth driving all the way. This is easier. It throws me in the fucking cab. Ready to go. All connected. This is how you grind out money quick. You just do a quick job. You know, we want to sightsee, we'll do it differently, you know? Why are we so forward? What the hell kind of truck is this? What the fuck? F is it F3? No. Holy crap, bro. I hate this truck. I, I absolutely hate this truck. supposed to be good. I, I, I hate this truck. Extremely hate it. I th it's You know what it is? It's that dashboard. It's the slant dashboard that I, I... So I don't really hate the truck. I hate the dashboard. I know this sounds nuts. Like, you never hear a driver... Well, you might hear a driver. When you got a driver that's driving like 400 fucking miles, you know, you have the right to bitch about the dashboard, alright? I don't care if it's someone else's truck or whatever. driving under people's trucks but hey this is a lot easier and we need to grind money quickly so this episode is basically i mean we're not going to be doing any real adventuring like sightseeing and shit like that eventually we will be but not for a while uh, until we get this uh until we get a s well established like i i want to like go and see uh like washington dc capital and maybe talk about the history of some of the landmarks in different states and go see them and stuff i mean i got plans for this game so i mean it's up to you if you want to follow but yeah we're gonna have a good time uh i always have a rocky start with any game that i start and uh this game's no exception but i you know i got a lot of cool stuff going on already i mean we got the track ir5 and I'm, I'm freaking, I love it. I love it. You know, I can just turn my head and, and a lot of people, they don't, they don't even move the camera. They just sit there, you know, 
because they they're, they're using a race wheel they don't touch their mouse in in my streams you're able to see uh, I mean it's all about the sightseeing right so you know I'm just saying and uh, I do all everything live so it's all raw unedited uncut you you get me you get the game um, no fake stuff uh, and I plan on playing this online too at eventually uh, I got a friend that's interested in buying I don't know if he bought it or not so might be doing some convoys and inviting also the community uh, chat or whoever wants to join we'll have social events like that yeah I got I got a lot of plans for this game uh, we're gonna have fun with it um, I mean, we got quite a wait till Grand Theft Auto 6, right? I mean, come on, you know everybody's waiting for that game. Oh, well, there's the Dunkin' Donuts. You know, I, I don't think I've ever had a real Dunkin' Donut. Maybe once. Maybe once in Seattle, I think. Or, no, that was Krispy Kreme. Yeah, I don't think I've had Dunkin' Donut. I've had the Dunkin' Donut coffee, but never had the pastry any of their pastries that I that I can remember yeah in Seattle uh, Krispy Kreme's is the more popular uh, donut shop and that's where I grew up was the Seattle And out here, they just don't got fucking anything. Uh, I live way out in the boons. Fucking... Hillbilly country, man. Uh, cornfields, the whole nine. Yeah. Not much out here, that's for damn sure. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing out here. Oh yeah, only place I could go. Uh, long story that I'm not ever going to share ever on stream, so. Yeah. How long have we been streaming for? Uh, hour and a half, okay. Not too shabby. Let's stare at the roof, guys. Oh. Shit. Good. Backed off. A semi truck would never stop that quick ever in real life. <laughs> you see that? I don't know if you guys saw that in the review. I pulled in front of him a little bit so he'd slam on his brakes and he did. And because I was about to miss the turn. I would never do that in real life though. I'm breaking all the laws. Gotta make that money, man. Gotta make that money. Of course, in real life, you'd be making more money than we're making right now, actually. For some of these runs. Trucking's a good paying job. Very well paid. 
I would do it, but uh, my legs, I, I can't, uh, I can't work, unfortunately. I have an issue with my legs. like that though I worked most of my life well this is relaxing I like the seeing the countryside and stuff like that uh, they're gonna be doing an update to the engine the game engine itself that should be pretty cool. Uh, DirectX 12 is coming, so you can uh, guarantee we'll be seeing a lot better graphics at some point. Not that the graphics don't look good already. I think the graphics look fucking amazing for a car, for us for a simulator. This is the, definitely hands down the best looking simulator on the market. And to get even better, that's going to be awesome. Why is that guy brake checking? Huh? Uh, wow, this is a long drive. This is 492 miles. Oh my goodness. Holy fuck. Looks like we got quite the ride. Let's take a look outside the cab. What are we moving here? Okay, some backhoes. Is that what that is? No, those are uh, lift containers. Mm -hmm. I think I built some of the baskets for those. Um, I can't remember the name of the company I work for now that did it. Dallas. Wait, what? Where the fuck are we? We are in Texas. I didn't even know we was in Texas. But, uh... The, um... Sorry for yawning. That's the worst thing you ever want to see a streamer do is fucking yawn. Because then you yawn, and then it's bad. So I apologize completely for that. That's like a total... N yeah, that pisses me off when I see streamers do that. It's like, you know, you have a stream going, pay attention. And quit being so... So tired if you're streaming, right? It's been a long day for me, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Uh... I might have to get up and get an energy drink. But I'm going to have a cigarette. That's a definite. If we got 492 miles to go. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, oh my God. Okay. Um, I'm going to need an energy drink if we're going to do this. Um, oh, man. Let's, let's just drive a little bit while I'm smoking and then we'll figure it out. No wonder it was paying so good. Whoa, whoa, dude. Get off my ass. Oh, this stupid thing. Also? Let's 
We gotta turn the vibration off that controller. No more. Yeah. So that way when I sit down the controller it doesn't rattle all over the damn place. My cat got upset about the rattling as well. I think that's it. I'm just using the keyboard now. Well, I have the cigarette and uh, we're gonna stay outside the cab so it does the IR tracking doesn't go crazy I uh, didn't pay attention to the mileage that's a serious long haul should make some good money though maybe be able to do an upgrade We need 200k to upgrade the garage to get two more trucks. No, we need 300k to get two more trucks and two more drivers. Yeah. So. There's this mod that makes uh, jobs pay more money, but I don't want to use it. So I think we're going to play legit like that. Just normal payout, I think. But uh, I'll let you know if I change my mind. We'll see how hard it is to grind through this. I mean, if we're not established with at least two uh, headquarters by episode 20, then I'll consider it. But there's all kinds of money hacks and cheats. I don't want to use that. That just totally ruins the game for you. But upping the pay on jobs, that's not so bad. It's still cheating though. Don't get me wrong. In a way. You're still grinding for it, but I'd rather keep it when uh legit vanilla on that, on the money side of things. Uh and not fuck with the game mechanics. I just the only thing I want to mess with would be the graphics and the realism. As you can see, like dominoes on that sign we just passed. Stuff like that, I love that. It uh, brings total immersion to the game. And I can totally understand why they didn't bring it into the game to start with because they would have to pay uh, for that. Uh, to use those logos. Or it would have been an advertisement, you would think. I don't know. Actually, I could be wrong. If the game designer would have to pay for the logos, or if the company would have would have to pay the designer, uh, the developer. I mean, yeah, I don't know. 
I mean, it would be in their best interest to allow them to put it in the game. Because uh, everybody would see their advertisement. But then you'd probably get people, players that would cry and moan about, oh, they're advertising. Well, yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> that's probably an issue too. I like it because it adds realism, like I said before. Look, at, I mean, look how beautiful this is. Just, uh, I haven't done anything to the textures. This is just the skybox. And they're going to upgrade the engine. Oh my god, it's going to be so great. And I, th I think it's coming soon, too. I, I don't know how soon, but this year. So. That should be very interesting to see what how this goes. And we'll have the, uh, the leg up on everything. And we'll, we'll be able to see the difference between this and the new engine. So that's kind of cool too. go ahead and switch back over to the controller and hop back in the cab and we're a little bit off centered here there we go about America uh, truck simulator over Euro truck simulator is that the wide roads I, I noticed in Europe the roads are so freaking small and why well, well the trucks are bigger in America too way bigger um, but uh, well, I guess it makes sense that was I just paid somebody could be the bank taking their money simulator too and I would stream it too uh, and I would uh, get drunk as hell on stream and I would I would drive and drive and drive and drive uh, had a lot of fun but uh, yeah don't do the alcohol anymore I, uh, I used to only, uh, the reason why I became a drunk is because of the, um, not because I enjoyed it, which most alcoholics do it for the enjoyment, or because they have a problem. Uh, it starts off with enjoyment, of course, and then becomes a dependency, which I know for a fact. Uh, it might just go straight here. And 
reason why is uh, my uh, my problem with my legs. Uh, the doctors don't really know much about it. They do, but uh, it's not considered enough for them to give me pain pills. Um, even though I'm in extreme pain every single day, all day. They won't give me pain pills for it because it's not in their stupid little fucking book that they have. <coughs> and people have abused uh, drugs here in America to the extreme that uh, they're scared they're going to lose their fucking doctor license or some bullshit. I don't know. Uh, even with piss tests and everything that they they do now with everybody when they even if basically you got to be dying and I'm kind of dying in a way. Uh, but they, they ain't gonna give me any pain pills. And I told them, I said, if you don't give me any fucking pain pills, I'm gonna drink myself to death because I am in so much pain that I'm having to actually drink a fifth of alcohol every day. I told my doctor this, and, you know, he's like, well, you do what you gotta do. Like that was his response. I, I got rid of him. Uh, I got a new doctor now, but I already know the procedures. They, they don't care. They, they don't, they don't give a shit. They really don't. Um, you know, they go home to their million dollar houses and they fucking drive their 911 Porsches to, <coughs> to work or whatever. McDonald's trailer right over there. But, uh, yes, I mean, some of them do care, but they just don't want to risk their, uh, practice. Um, which I don't know. I don't I have no idea what the fucking how, why how risky it is. Um, if it's not written down in their little stupid book. Go here. Hopefully. Um, so anyway, that's why I became a complete alcoholic, and I was uh, drinking about a fifth a day, and that was very expensive too. By the way, drinking is not cheap. Uh, it's more expensive than even, uh, buying an eighth of weed a day. Well, it's about the same price, actually. Uh, depending on where you buy it, of course. I want to save. So, for many years, I could not find a legal way to take away the pain. So, I basically was drinking myself to death for about eight years straight. And, uh, I'd wake up with blackouts and wouldn't remember what I said or did. And I, I did some really, really, some really stupid stuff. And I regret a lot of it. I really do. Um, people would be pissed off at me and... Um, I have this problem when I get drunk, I tell the truth. People don't like the truth. And I'm not very nice about it when I do tell the truth. Um, so... I was searching and searching for a way to get rid of the pain and I came across this thing it was called Kratom it's a it's a leaf from the jungles uh, a lot of different uh, jungles around the world um, and it just so happened that it was legal in my state How many people know about it or well now it's known I guess uh, I I was taking the I've been taking Kratom for about two years and it blew up about one year ago uh, in smoke shops uh, people started using it which I don't like because usually the crap you get in, in the smoke shops is not tested and it's dangerous uh, never 
pick anything without seeing a lab test on it ever. I, I don't. I always read the lab test to make sure. Stop jabbering and not paying attention. Um, so it comes in powder form, but I, I get the pills and uh, the pill form of it. And I took it and it immediately removed the pain that I had. Um, of course, you get, you build a tolerance to it. Um, but I haven't touched alcohol since. Uh, I started taking it. Eight years of drinking. I want, uh, Oh, well, that's not true though. I had a drink on New Year's, by the way. One drink, the first drink I've had in a year. There, I admitted it. Oh well. Uh, I didn't enjoy it, and I'm not drinking again, so. So I wouldn't call it a relapse. I would just call it uh, a casual drink. Let's turn this back on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. But, uh, if anybody ever asks me, how do you beat alcoholism? I would, without a doubt, within two seconds, tell you, Kratom. Uh, only if you're an alcoholic. Don't use it, uh, I mean, or if you're trying to get rid of pain. jackknife this wait is it to the it's not to the right it's this way so yeah um i quit i quit drinking i i don't consider that as failing uh i'm going i'm gonna say that i've been alcohol free for a year and a half Except for, you know, one drink, one day. Um, and I haven't touched it since, so. Uh, I granted it's only been, I'm not even, who cares? It doesn't even matter. Um, but yeah, I went uh, from eight years to zero for a long time. So yeah, it's kind of like the miracle drug that saved my life, I think, in a lot of ways, because uh, I was heading down a very bad path with the alcohol. Uh, no, if you drink, that's fine. I mean, that's your business. But uh, for me, uh, I was very excessive, a very excessive drinker, and uh, it was killing me. So. With that and my other health problems, like my legs, it, uh, I probably would be in a coffin by now. If it wasn't for that uh, Kratom, Kratom, whatever you want to call it. So that's my, I don't know why we're talking about this. glad to be free of that garbage people say kratom's addictive uh, it's not addictive for me uh, uh, like I haven't taken any all day today um, I'm actually dealing with the pain I took something else it wasn't kratom and I haven't taken oh no I did take a real pain pill today early way early this morning some uh, don't ask me how I got those either I'll just say I <laughs> they weren't prescribed
Those are like for emergencies only. And when I woke up this morning, I was in emergency mode. And I, it's probably because I haven't taken Kratom in a, uh, a couple of days. I don't know when the hell I took it last. But I'm in pain right now as well. And it's tempting, right, tempting me right now to take some. But at least it's a leaf and it's not something that's going to kill me. Now, people that use excess on anything will kill you. So, I mean, it could kill you. Yeah. If you took enough of it. I think the only thing I know that you can, like, not OD on would be marijuana. But that is, that's only because there's no way you could smoke that much and actually move. You'd just be couch locked, like, after a certain amount, right? There's no way. Stop functioning, basically. Even if somebody was like trying to like put them like you can't move, if somebody was like toking you up or something, you know, like putting a pipe in your mouth uh, or bong or whatever, uh, I think like at some point you your body would just say, "Nah, I'm good, man." Like, I don't think. I mean, I've never heard a case of anybody dying from it. But with anything, you can die. I, I guess after a certain amount. Like, even water you can die from. So, even though it's a leap, everything's dangerous. Everything. If, you, if you're too excessive, or you abuse, you can, you can do it to anything. So. The whole thing with, uh, there was some deaths with Kratom. I don't know, a few years back or something, there was bad batch or I don't know if they OD'd because they took too much I don't know the whole story all I know is that yeah you can die from it so uh, yeah take caution if you're an alcoholic and thinking about making a switch and by the way I am in no way saying that you should ever use Kratom or promoting it in any possible way I'm not a physician and uh, I even if I was I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't give you that kind of advice. You need to seek, uh, you need to make that decision on your own. You know what I mean? That's, that's your personal business, not mine. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's why you might see me like popping like pills and stuff sometimes. And like, what the hell is he taking? I'm taking creative, most likely. Most likely. Sometimes I do a little bit of shrooming. Um, and, uh, I have a medical card, so, you know, you might hear something, but I, I try to keep it off the stream or video most of the time, unless it's like an emergency, don't grab it, but you'll never see the stuff, so. And I'm in no way promoting any of that either. I'm just, yeah, I'm just kind of giving you the idea of why I have to, why, like it's two hours is usually my limit is because I'm in extreme pain but you know hopefully we'll be able to do like eight hour streams or something after I have surgery done maybe god that would be so great um yeah so I mean we got stuff to look forward to it's just gonna take a lot of work on my part like quitting smoking is gonna be a huge thing for me uh and that has to be done um this year is gonna be uh it's going to be a struggle, but it's going to be worth it in the end. I think so. And uh, hopefully we can progress this channel to be something great. And we can have a big community and stuff. That's my dream, you know. That's my dream is to have, like, a, a good community that we can talk and, like, play games and, and have fun together. You know, because you only live once, right? And uh, so why not live it to its fullest and have a good time and, and enjoy yourself, you know? instead of like sitting by yourself at home or something alone and depressed and you know that's why I like games is you can get on you can get online anytime right and you can meet somebody new you can have a good time and enjoy yourself you know and uh, yeah it's not real life true um, but who cares as long as you you feel good about 
you know, you're having a good day and everything is going good. I think that that's, that's all that matters, right? Is that your mental health is so important. I mean, of course, so is physical health, but mental health is more important in my opinion. So yeah, that's, I think, a, a big part of why I love video games. And it kept me off the street. Uh, I used to get into a lot of trouble on the street when I was younger. Uh, then I found this game called Diablo 2. Uh, I mean, I would played games before, right? But not like Diablo 2. Like, Diablo 2 like, just, t like, sucked me in. It took me off the streets, man. Like, you know, uh, kept me out of trouble. Although, I can guarantee that. I might even be dead if it wasn't for uh, Diablo 2. So, yeah, I was, like, totally addicted to Diablo 2. It was almost like crack. Like, you know. How to describe it. Um, but when you're a kid, and it, you know, it's, uh, video games were really... And especially the time that I grew up. I grew up in a whole different era than kids today, you know. Like, going out to the arcades and stuff like that was, like, the coolest thing. Uh, I wish that kids today could experience such an amazing uh, environment and um, stuff like that. I mean, we used to play outside till the streetlights came on, you know, and we'd go and do stuff and have fun. That seems to be like dead now with social media and uh, I'm really sad because I heard there was a school shooting again today yeah another fucking school shooting uh, I don't know how many died and the rest in peace uh, you know it's just it's, it's ridiculous you know so, you know, these kids, they, they get, their mental health is all, they're, they're all jacked up, right? Because they got this fucking thing called the internet. When I was younger, we didn't have that, you know? We didn't have, like, bullying. There's a lot of bullying that goes on. That's just part of growing up. That's just the way it is, it, you know? And a lot of times, kids are evil, okay? Let's just, for the most part, when you're growing up, kids can be, they can be super evil. Um, and, you know, I was a little bastard, too. Trust me. You know, I'm not saying I'm innocent of anything. Um, but with the internet, and uh, it's all about who you are, who you know, who you're going out with. Uh, and then, you know, you, you got the internet uh, just meme, memes and stuff. That It's just dangerous, man. It can really fuck a kid's head up. And, uh, you know, and we're seeing it today with these shootings that are going on. And uh, I don't know how many people died. All I saw, I glimpsed on the news and I was, oh, fucking another school shooting. Uh, I think it said something like 11 people were shot. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, bad subject to talk about. Maybe I shouldn't talk about that. But I'm just saying, you know, it was a lot different when I was growing up. I guess that's what I mean to say. Uh, but I do understand to a point to... Uh, why why it's so screwed up right now and uh well that's another thing i like about video games you can escape all the politics the fucking bullshit you know you can just run away into this little world and, and just be gone away from all the all the garbage um as much as you can you know uh, it's a great escape that's why i hate seeing them put crap into video games as well. I hold against that uh, kind of shit. Um, with adding politic and like woke agendas and all that garbage needs to, to stay the fuck away from my video games. You take that and uh, however you want to take it. But uh, oh, there's McDonald's. The Golden Arches in my review. can't uh oh yeah there it is the restaurant was back there i love seeing that in video games i don't know why uh, uh, 
That's cool. And then a freaking Burger King truck. Okay. All right, buddy. So as far as everything goes, um, I'm really liking the VR or not VR, the track IR five. I'm glad that we got that up and going. I can't wait to get the race wheel going. And yeah, I think it's going to be a, a good year for video games overall. There's a lot of stuff on the pipe coming up. Uh, but I think that we're going to keep this game as a solid, uh, a definite nightly game or, uh, it'll be their day or night game. We'll see. I've been hitting it kind of hard though every day with this game. So we might, I don't know. We'll see, but this is definitely staying in the rotation. Look at the flags. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Texas and American flag like blown in the wind just the physics and everything man this game is really really rich uh i highly recommend you buy it if you can it's on sale right now on steam i think it was like 4.99 or something i seen some crazy maybe that winter sells over with i think it was 4.99 maybe that was e, uh ets2 i don't know either way it's a good game even if you're paying full price I bought it full price. I just didn't play it for many years. But it came out like seven years ago and I played it once and then uh, like, okay, all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I think it's had time to cook enough and we got a bunch of states. So I bought all the DLC states. Um, so there's a lot of content that I've never seen. This is, I mean, this is going to keep me busy for a while. Definitely. We're 17 miles away. We did it. Wow. That was a long drive, guys. And I was blabbering the whole way. <laughs> they put the star of uh, the Texas star, right? On their house. That's something I noticed about Texas. They're very proud people. I like Texas. I wouldn't mind moving to Texas, but it's just too damn hot for me. I'm due for rest. I'm due for rest, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty accurate. You can see me moving my head, you know up at the ceiling and I actually slowed it down too so it wouldn't be so jarring as it was kind of jarring at first
because it was it was snapping this is kind of more smooth and slow slower and smooth like you would normally kind of just browse over to the left or the right I mean you could do it quick like that you know but, uh, also I'm getting used to it uh, myself because I'm not used to I'm used to VR but I'm not really used to this so there is a little uh, getting used to if you're planning on buying it It's not a it's not that hard of a transition as it is from reality to virtual reality I think that was my hardest transition uh, when I put on the headset yeah I'd, I'd get sick right now I can get if I wanted to I could get on a roller coaster and well I don't know about now I haven't been in VR mm, probably for a couple months well, I, I did get on once, but that doesn't really count. I got this poker company that ripped me off. They stole my digital goods and refused to return them to me after I spent hundreds of dollars with them. And I supported them when they were nobody's VR poker. Now their name is something else. I won't say their name. But, uh, like, I went back and forth for, like, over a week and a half with the support team. And they did not want to give me back my items. They said they could see them. They're there. And they weren't there. And... So, I don't know. Which I really like to be our poker. But, uh, it is what it is, you know. That's the whole digital, uh thing about digital is you uh, don't really own the items or the games for that matter so if you're watching me live here on twitch you're able to hear the music when I'm not blabbing Otherwise, you're just stuck listening to the engine of me blab on YouTube. Uh, if you want to join me, it's the same name, War Lyric, on Twitch.tv. And, uh, we did it. That was a hell of a drive right there. We made uh, 46,000, pretty good. Whew. Uh, do the fuel, I guess. Um, so I think we're gonna end it there, guys. Uh, for tonight and then tomorrow, uh, same thing we'll start with this as far as i know we'll be playing this until i don't know diablo 4's new season comes out um might do some cyberpunk side questing at some point in between now and then no promises we already finished cyberpunk but i i want to go back anyway and i there's some videos i need to do about the mods i used and uh do some side questing on that but for the main for the most part we're gonna be playing a hell of a lot of this so yeah thanks for uh checking it out and if you're uh a regular i appreciate you of course as well um take care and stay safe out there it's a crazy ass world that we live in and um I pray, I really do, I pray for these kids in this uh, school shooting. It's, it's it's really sad news, it really is. Uh, I don't even know where it took place, but it, it's just, it's ridiculous. And uh, I really pray for the families and stuff, that's that's just terrible. Um, but anyway, I don't want to end on a bad note. Uh, good vibes, guys, good vibes. Um, I appreciate you guys so much, and take care of yourselves. Uh, all right. Good night.